Marjorie Taylor Greene, in a post on social media at the end of last week, confirmed what we all already knew, and that is, of course, that the impeachment of President Biden is not actually about any kind of suspected crimes. It's not about actual evidence showing any wrongdoing. Nope. Marjorie Taylor Greene freely admitted that the whole reason they're doing this is to hurt President Biden and, of course, the Democrats in next year's elections. Here is Marjorie Taylor Greene admitting this. This is her grand plan to inflict as much pain as possible, as she said in a meeting with Donald Trump last Sunday, where they had halibut and diet cokes. But here's what she said on social media. We are going to drag Biden and everyone who covered up his crimes through the headlines day after day, month after month, and prove to the country the entire Democrat party is corrupt and can't be trusted. So no matter which candidate runs for president, if they take out Biden, everyone will know the Democrat party is filled with liars and traitors that combined with Bidenomics destructive policies will cause Democrats to lose big because that's the only goal, right? Is to make sure that the other team loses by dragging them. You said through the headlines, but let's be, let's be realistic. You just want to drag them through the mud so that no matter what Democrat runs next year, they stand no chance of winning because y'all will have muddied the waters to the point where the public just hates the Democrats, right? Um, and I kind of feel like it's almost like she's saying that because she's been paying attention to what the rest of us have been saying, which is even if you get rid of Biden, like we'll just have a primary and get somebody that 70% of the democratic party doesn't not want to be the nominee. Um, cause that's where we're at right now in the polling with Biden. So yeah, you're actually kind of doing us a bit of a favor if you take him out, but green says, Oh no, no, no. We're going to drag you through the mud. We're going to drag you through the headlines every day. See the problem she already has with this. In addition to obviously being like, yep, this is our goal. We're not really doing it for crimes. We're doing it for, you know, to taint the party is that who's been in the headlines every day. Cause there hasn't been headlines every day about the impeachment inquiry. No, there's been headlines every day about Republicans who are scared that they're eventually going to have to vote on this. There's been headlines every day of Republicans, including Republican presidential candidates coming out and saying, this is stupid. There's been headlines about Senate Republicans saying this is stupid. There's been headlines about Republicans in the house, including Ken Buck on the freedom caucus saying this is stupid. There's been headlines about you, Marjorie Taylor Greene, making stupid comments like this, but there haven't been that many headlines about the actual inquiry or about any wrongdoing alleged by president Biden. So we can go ahead and look at just the last six days and see that your plan is already not working. Like it's already failed Marge. By the time you sent out this post on truth so, or, or on social media, excuse me, your plan was already not working. The public is not with you on this. The polls show that. And you know what? I want to point out another thing because she brings this up in her post. She's like, all the other Democrats who covered this up, that's been the recent Republican talking about like, all oh, the Democrats who covered this up, y'all haven't named a single name. You don't even have a suspect of any Democrat that exists that helped cover this up. You haven't named a single person. So maybe get your ducks in a row before coming out with your grand plan and admitting, of course, that none of this has to do with any alleged criminal activity. The only point of it is to try to hurt the Democrats next November. But as much pain as you think you are inflicting upon them, it's not the Democrats that are suffering right now, Marge. It's your party. And that is the party that continues to get dragged through the mud in the headlines because of the stupid things that people like you are doing. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.